Hello friends, here we go again, we still have two things to do here. Add a toolbar with the file name inside it and the back button here and also set the track duration and track progress just beneath the seek bar. For the toolbar we'll be using material toolbar so head to the xml file and just above the chip add a material toolbar, set the width to match parents and the height to action bar size which is the default size for the action bar and don't forget to give it an id set to toolbar for this one. Now we want it to stay at the top of the activity so add top to top of parents and also set the title to an empty string and that way instead of showing the application name we'll show the file name. To do so let's add a text view inside make it match parent and wrap content close this and give it an id this one should be tv file name for text view file name also set the text size to 20 sp gravity to center to center the text and a margin end to 46 dp so when the back button shows here the text view will be centered in the toolbar so let's show the back button in the activity class First, we need to define our object, private late init var toolbar of type material toolbar. Same thing, private late init var tv file name of type text view. In the onCreate method, bind them to the objects in the XML file. For the toolbar, it's find view by id r.id.toolbar. Same thing for tv file name, find view by id r.id.tv file name. Now if we stop here, the toolbar won't be showing in the activity, so we need to bind it to the activity with the set support action bar and give it the toolbar. Now let's include the back button in the action bar with the support action bar dot set display home as up enabled and set it to true and make it clickable with support action bar dot set show home enabled set to true. And finally, when it's clicked, call the onBackPressed method. So toolbar dot set navigation on click listener and call on back pressed method. So this is a built-in method responsible to close the current activity. So if there is anything you want to perform just before quitting the activity, it should be done inside this one. So let's override it here at the bottom and it will naturally call the onBackPressed and then We'd like to stop and release the media player and remove the callback from the handler just before closing the activity. So call media player dot stop, then media player dot release. And finally, on the handler, call the remove callbacks and give it the runnable to remove. Okay, the final thing here is to set the file name here. So tv file name dot text equals file name. Let's run this. Let's open a file and see here we have the file name and the back button. If we click it, everything's closed. Great, now on top of the seek bar, I'd like to see the current progress and duration of the audio record in plain text just under the seek bar. So let's start by increasing the margin bottom of the seek bar from 20 to 30 and add a text view. The first one, make it wrap content and wrap content and set the ID to TV track progress. Here set the text as initial value to zero, zero. Set the text size to 13 SP and set the top to bottom of seek bar and start to start off parents and a margin start set to 16 dp. So let's just copy and paste this, switch from TV track progress to TV track duration. Set constraint end to end of parent and margin from start to end. And that's it. Now let's head back to the activity class and define our objects here. So just copy and paste this two times, change from TV file name to TV track progress and TV track duration. Here in the onCreate method, TV track duration, find view by ID, r.id.tv track duration. 
same thing for progress find view by id r dot id dot tv track progress and just after initializing the media player we want to set the duration text to the media player duration but this won't work because this is a millisecond value and we want a hour format so we need to define a function to do this so here let's create private function and name it date format it will take a duration integer and return a string value inside of it first we convert the duration from milliseconds to seconds by dividing by 1000 then we extract the seconds g modulo 60 this gives us the number of seconds available so if the duration is 66 seconds the value of seconds would be 6 and for the minutes if the initial value was 66 and then we have 1 minute and 6 seconds so we should get the duration divided by 60 and get the modulo of 60 so basically we count the number of minutes inside this duration here and getting the modulo so if we have 66 minutes it should be 1 hour and 6 minutes and this value here returns 6 and to extract the hours same thing bar h equals first we get the duration we remove the number of minutes we had then divide by 360 which is 60 by 60 and transform it to int so we have an integer instead of a float now let's format the string first we'll need a number format object and this one is a decimal format which should be written in two two digits each time for the string first we get the number of minutes then seconds written on two digits with the f dot format and the seconds and if there is more than 60 minutes that means h is greater than zero then we append the hours just like this first we give it the hour then the previous value of this string and finally we return the string now instead of media player duration we give it date format media player duration let's do the same thing for the track progress inside the runnable here each time the seek bar is updated we update the track progress tv track progress dot text equal date format and give it the media player current position and that's it let's run this so open a file and see how it changes okay we're done here so in the next video we'll add a collapsing toolbar here inside of which a search bar will help to filter what's shown in the recycler view so see you on the next one